The sponsor of this bill says SROs are already required under Kentucky law to be inside school buildings. He simply wants to make sure it doesn't become an unfunded mandate. The original intent of Senate Bill 1 was to have an SRO on every school campus. But the law requiring school resource officers didn't include state funding to pay for the program. Districts have to cover the costs. Now lawmakers are working to ease that burden. Legislation proposed by Louisville Republican Representative Kevin Bratcher would allow districts to avoid having to have SROs in all schools if they can't afford to pay or staff the program for now. That way the state will have time to gather information from districts about funding needs and put Kentucky on a path to use state funds for SROs down the road. We have the statistics of who doesn't have an SRO, but we don't know why they don't have one. Representative Tina Bojanowski, a Louisville Democrat and a JCPS teacher, says doing this takes power away from local districts, something Republicans have fought hard to let districts keep during the pandemic. It frustrates me when the General Assembly argues local control, but then when the local decisions may be different than the decisions they want, then they want a state level approval process for a program. In general, Kentucky's law requiring armed officers on all school campuses is controversial. Those against it want the legislature to get rid of the requirement altogether. You can build relationships and build trust. You don't have to have a weapon to do that. And in fact, it doesn't help. But those who support SROs say it's an unfortunate but necessary precaution. They also feel it could help improve community relations with police officers. They need positive role models. And they need to learn that they can trust a police officer, a law enforcement official. And that seems to be lacking in our society. This bill did make it out of the House committee today. It'll now head to the full House for consideration. If approved, it does still need to be passed by the Senate before going to the governor's desk. In Frankfurt, Rachel Droz, WHAS 11 on your side. And today, JCPS sent WHAS 11 News a statement on this bill saying, quote, we appreciate the bill sponsor acknowledging JCPS's efforts to keep our schools safe. We will continue to follow Kentucky's school safety laws, end quote there from JCPS.